Woo! Yeah, baby! This is what we've been waiting for since 2017. Tesla said the semi would start production in 2019, and obviously they missed that one by a mile. But Elon just tweeted very exciting news that the Tesla semi has started production officially for customers, and that the first deliveries are scheduled to be to Pepsi on December 1st of this year, which does mean we are less than two months away from the first customer grade Tesla semis being delivered. And of course, I'm sure you all have lots of questions, as do I. I'm frantically refreshing Elon's Twitter replies right now because there are so many things that he didn't mention to go along with this, and I'm really hoping we get some kind of delivery event, you know? We got one for the Model 3. Model Y didn't quite get a delivery event, but we do have an earnings call on October 19th, and I'm just telling you guys now, I'm trying to get pumped, I'm trying to get everybody excited that this needs to be what most of the questions are about, especially considering Tesla said at the start of 2020 that there would not be any new models and obviously some plans have changed that would be a first question to lead off with if you weren't planning on introducing new models why introduce the semi in 2022 my best running theory is that because they had lots of 4680s being built from the Cato Road facility and they decided that at Giga Texas it was going to make more sense to build 2170 model wise instead of 4680 they likely had an influx number of vehicle grade energy dense 4680 cells that maybe weren't quite at the volume that they wanted Model Y to be at for Giga Texas, plus it was going to just cost too much to ship all of those cells over to Giga Texas from Cato Road. So I'm thinking instead they decided let's take these 4680 cells from Cato Road, ship them over to Giga Nevada, where it's long been rumored that the first pilot line for Tesla semi production would be. And Electrek has received sources that they're planning on expanding Giga Nevada. I don't know if that's specifically for the semi, but I'm predicting low volume production, but at least it will be production of the Tesla semi using 4680 cells. These these are likely the next generation cells, which are more energy dense, but they just can't build them at extreme volume. So it makes more sense to build, I don't know, maybe five or 10 Tesla semis a week, which is not the same number of cells that Giga Texas would have needed to achieve 1,000, 2,000 vehicles per week. But they have the machinery running, they have the cells available. So they're like, hey, this would make a lot of sense in the Tesla semi. People have been waiting on these for a while. Let's start shipping these things. But of course, that is a question we'll have to bring up on the earnings call. Which cells are they using in the Tesla semi 4680 would make a lot of sense to me because 2170 cells could go into vehicles that are severely backordered right now so if the Tesla semi is using 2170 cells that's going to make me even further confused than I already am but another question we have is that since Tesla has installed mega chargers at the Frito-Lay facility in Modesto what is the peak charging speed of this new Tesla semi were they able to hit their goal of surpassing one megawatt or are these like an early compromise that only are able to achieve like 750 kilowatts which still is a lot mind you it's just when you're talking about a tesla semi which elon is doubling down saying the vehicles they're building right now have a 500 mile range 500 mile range with a giant payload on the back yeah these are not going to be small battery packs at minimum like 800 kilowatt hours maybe even one megawatt hour depending on the energy efficiency of the semi which should be pretty good in a website refresh recently tesla confirmed that the new semis are actually just rocking three motors instead of four, which likely helps with efficiency. And they're still targeting that under two kilowatt hour energy consumption per mile, which is pretty efficient. So I'd love to know the charging speed of these mega chargers because we've seen some people get up close with them and we know that they're using connectors that are not what Char In has boasted about coming in the future with like three megawatts of charging speed. Char In wants to have like a unified, simplified class eight heavy duty trucking charge plug for all EVs. And as far as we know, the Tesla Semi is isn't using those so we may have another big CCS versus Tesla connector problem with Tesla semis going into production soon but my next big question is if Tesla is starting to build out the semi why then are they prioritizing customer deliveries opposed to Tesla using the semi for their own purposes right they're always using heavy-duty trucks to deliver Tesla's to delivery centers moving parts to and from the Fremont factory and Giga Texas and I would have thought it would have made more sense to use your early production units for your own logistics reasons rather than bring them straight to the paying customer to find out all the kinks and bugs but who knows maybe they feel confident enough in the tesla semi that they're comfortable letting pepsi try out the first models it's just probably going to be weird if tesla semi deliveries begin and then tesla is still using diesel semi trucks around the factory people are going to be like what? what why are you not using your own product but i get it limited volume they don't have a lot of them to go around so either way i'm excited especially from the interior website refresh they had the tesla semi has this updated 
steering wheel that feels like a mesh between the steering wheel they have in the Model 3 and Y combined with the yoke that we see in the Model S and X. Like it has capacitive buttons for the blinkers and stuff. I'm sure these traditional heavy duty truckers are gonna love those buttons, but it still has a full wheel. So obviously a yoke probably would have been pretty insane on a Tesla Semi, but hey, a lot of people thought the yoke would have been crazy on a pickup truck and they seem to want to do it on the Cybertruck. So I personally like the look of the interior, but then again, I am basically the opposite of a semi truck driver. I love driving small sedans and that's what I'm comfortable with, but I can't wait to see more and more of these things on the road. I'm really pumped for this product because I've been following it for years and I personally think that these heavy duty trucks, even though they're not as commonplace as pickup trucks or crossovers, they account for a large amount of total global emissions and they are incredibly dangerous vehicles that need more safety systems in place and having a vehicle with regenerative braking, autopilot and full self-driving hardware that allows Tesla to have some of the safest cars on the road, baking that technology into a larger vehicle that's going to be hauling, you know, over 80,000 pounds of gross weight down the freeway going 60, 70 miles an hour. That's really important. I do think the Tesla Semi will save lives directly and indirectly. And it just says a lot about how Tesla is not just building consumer grade vehicles, but they see electric vehicles as the future for heavy duty trucking, not just consumer vehicles. Plus they'll just be insanely quiet. It's probably one of the most annoying things when you're on the freeway and these big old semi trucks are revving up their engines and blowing your eardrums out, especially in busy cities where pedestrians are walking by on streets and stuff. So having a quiet, powerful, safe, and zero emission semi truck driving around is awesome. Can't wait to see them, especially I would love to see the charging curve, how they perform at mega chargers, how many Tesla's going to be building. And oh my God, I'm so much more pumped for the earnings call than ever before because they're going to be able to hopefully answer a lot of these questions. Honestly, I would go as far as to say is I would like a delivery event. No, I don't think there's that many YouTubers taking delivery of the Tesla Semi, but still, I think it would just be fun to have an updated event where they talk about the specs, the cells, the charging speed of the new Tesla Semi as they're handing them off to consumers. It's not every day Tesla delivers a brand new product category, and there's probably only going to be one first Tesla Semi delivery, so I think it deserves an entire presentation. Honestly, might be a lot more interesting than AI Day. Sorry, shots fired, but let me know what you guys think of the Tesla Semi production starting today and deliveries being just two months away now. That's so fun to say. All that good stuff down below, and thank you to everyone on Patreon supporting this channel directly. It seriously helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos. So thanks again, and have an excellent rest of your day.